Yeah, it's probably good enough, I would say. Jump into something and uh, he's not good in it. I think my uh, cheap shit wireless keyboard just stopped working. Right, so I would check out this game. There's a Dutch company called Radar Soft, they did uh, quite a few games actually. So, uh Because of all the global warming, there's less rain. Yeah, that's a bollocks. Oh no! I hope this doesn't give me a copyright strike. Ah oh, no, more complaining by other felines. Don't know. Well, he can't come in here because you have one. So, why am I not doing work? Well, uh, my neck hurts today. Common problem when you eat uh, good food, as I like to call it. Might actually be gout. I'm not sure if you can get gout in the, uh, you know, the top half of your leg. I know you get it in your knees and your ankles. But I don't have red meat and I don't drink red wine or pork or anything like that. I don't even eat that much cheese. I haven't had a pizza for yours. Yeah. Almost there, mate. Almost there. So, yeah, it turns out David Duchovny was only in uh, one episode of season nine of The X Files, so we kind of zipped right along there. So uh, we're on season 10 now, and season 10 is, when you watch them back to back like that, it's nothing like the other ones, nothing at all. And he's got nothing to do with how much more masculine uh, Gillian Anderson's face has become. This is normal for women, women's faces get longer as they get older, just like men. But men are supposed to have slightly longer faces than women. Uh, in season 11 where she sounds like she's been smoking uh, 50 fucking cigarettes before every time. Yes, your treats are in there. But you already had your treat for being in here, buddy. You should eat your dinner. So I'll put your fresh dinner in. What does that mean, Adna? that mean you want my knees? I can't give you my knees. I need my knees. Famously, people with broken kneecaps after getting in trouble with the uh, gangs of London, they have a few problems. Ah, yeah, speaking of disability allowance, apparently the government is now, they, they've got another fucking uh, classic now, and Boris Johnson, in order to keep his job, he's bending over backwards and taking it bare back, right up the arsehole uh, from his uh, rebel Tory MPs, the ones that are trying to kill my fucking family. Yes, mate. Now, 
not like to inject them with fucking uh, colon cancer, all of them, mate. Fucking greedy fucking corporate bastards. Selfish too, mate. Gonna have to have a shift change now. Maybe you can do pee pee and poo poo as that. Very childish channel, mate. And uh, all right, there we go. These stay here. CRT glasses go with me. So we've had the glasses. What? I think, I think you need to go out, buddy. You're fed and watered, so you had to watch here. Come on, in, buddy. Come on. Out. He's going to want to jump on the TV now. Right, just in case you get any uh, second thoughts about coming in here. In fact, I'm going to delete this now. So this is... Uh, this is uh, where my fucking, where's my fucking lighter gone for the C64? Fucky. Hey! <sighs> Camera's very precarious there. Ooh. Just clipping the side there, I think. It's just about all in. Our Dutch meat blunts must rescue his fair Jane from the evil clutches of the manic monk. He's walking his dogs again. The uh, son-in-law of the uh, 94 year old woman. He don't talk to me anymore. He used to own this house. He didn't, obviously. I think they've got a uh, four bedroom detached house at Envy, although it's a three bedroom now. Uh, but it was a four bedroom when it was built, because they didn't have a, they didn't even have like, well they probably did have a cold water tap and some sort of kitchen sink. Anyway I digress, Al must go on to the last bastion of evil, the wicked heart, blah 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 and destroy it. Uh, set against the background of an inky black you know, hero, Almost Guy. Go on. Should, that should be go and fight the dreaded pulsing hearts. These hearts control the defensive gates. Blah, blah, blah. Hectivision. No, I'll bum the cigarette with fuck. Where's the air leak? It's, uh, it's John Van Der Art. He did quite a few games actually. If you go on game base. This is the new Mad Commodore for the new year. There's no trainers, none. <sighs> so generally he does his own graphics as well. So. Do I get unlimited uh, very fussy on the ladder business? Do you 
need to top up energy to keep doing that. So it's up to jump, and you can't do that business while you're jumping. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, hey, hey! The toffees are not for you, buddy. He's been a bit of an idiot today, I must admit. Getting on the fucking ladders is a nightmare. It's actually okay looking. The size of the screen is uh, too small, I don't like that. Why wouldn't you just keep pressing fire then? So, can we do something with the terminals? Maybe I should have read the instructions after all. Man. Oh, I quite like the sprites actually. Sprite for your guy is nice. I don't think there's anywhere else we can actually go. Well, there's here. Oh no! I'm guessing you have to do something with these things. Alright, but that doesn't actually help. Nah, that doesn't help. Why am I getting sapped? me zapping them right so I'm guessing you have limited fuel so you obviously got to do something with those computers so I need to watch some videos on this I think oh well it's not bad game from what it looks like so far my only gripe there with gripe water, added gripe water, whatever that fucking means. Stop griping! I'm sure it has something to do with uh, gripe water. There must be a reason. Unless the word gripe came before gripe. Well, I don't know. Well, the term griping, I should say. So oh, it's going to be a bit of a bastard here. I checked out mainframe, couldn't work out fuck all to do that one. Ah. So I've got all of radar soft in here. Ah, this is a game uh, I've been waiting for Yonks to actually see. This is um, a French game for the C64, obviously. Uh, by Lauriciels, or is it Lauriciel? Can't remember. I fucking hate crack throws like that. Just fucking get on with it. This was missing from game base for ages and I uh, just noticed it was on there so I don't know how long it's been on there which 
Translate game to English. Yes. Uh, no. No. Joystick port two. Right. Oh no, you have to set your own gears. Oh bloody hell. So graphics are terrible. This is basic quality so far. You are the driver of Formula One. Da, da, da. Your controls are blah blah blah. The engine status is indicated, but all right. So we do have a rev counter. Oh, we got four spare cars. This must be 1950s Formula One. Okay. It said joystick. He's a terrible cut. Red on purple does not work. So it's basically like Demon Driver by Palitoy for your C64. Whether the graphics are better or not, I don't know. If you're a heathen, you'd say yes, but uh, how can you get better than real hardware, like a Pali toy electromechanical toy? One of the first handheld electronic games. Well, electromechanical. Now, where's my position? It said there was only four cars. Not as good as uh, Le Mans by Commodore. Ah, oh, bloody hell, I wasn't paying attention. No, you can't change gear until it's high enough. Right? I've done it again, ah, oh, bloody hell. Do the... Oh, fuck it. Can I break into this? I bet you can't. No, it isn't, but it looks like a game written in basic, but this is like my first machine code game. Which, uh, if my brain was as good as uh, before, when I had a C64, yeah, I must admit, I waited a long time to play that game, and it's, um, it's probably right. You can't say it's budget quality because budget quality back then was, uh, you know, the first batch of Mastertronic games, which are pretty horrendous. It's better than BMX Racer. That would have been a full price game. So. <clears throat> now, another game. Uh, called Star Battle or Stellar Patrol which I believe is the version we got in the UK because it says US Gold I don't know if I can load that separately anyway I did try the crap make sure it works with uh, you know SD to IEC So these are just cracked, not cracked and trained. Now I may have had Alt W on the emulator at this point, I don't know. There we go. US Gold Incorporated, I've never known them to call themselves US Gold Inc. wait and hope that it's decompacting or something so I'll press the usual things ah bloody hell bloody hell come on I went to play this on the real C64 this version seems a bit oh here we go right Almost got the notes right there. Almost.
Will it sound better with the cats also over the TV speaker? Well, furry bum technically, it's not like the sound goes in there. Anyway. You know I have a full music expansion system. I can't remember seeing it actually, but anyway I do have one. More the cat sitting on the speaker now, so it makes no bloody difference. Bloody difference. No, right, I think it's uh, F1 to get the map up. There we go. Uh, it doesn't tell you what these places are, but anyway, we are surrounded. No rescue on Fractalus, that's for sure. Got to avoid the meteors in hyperspace. My channel wasn't dead, I put a clip from um, you know, the first Star Trek movie. Ooh, you've got to be careful how much hits you take because it takes out your torpedoes pretty quickly. There's no instructions for this game. Shields destroyed already. Let's see if like Star Raiders 2 going there. Uh, it will uh, repair damage and stuff. You can actually crash in hyperspace though, you've got to be careful. Yeah, someone really should do Star Raiders 1 for the C64. Oh, there we go. Right, so I was correct. Right, okay. Ooh. We need to protect the base, I reckon. Let's go there. Right, I'm going to have to uh, duke it out here. Yeah, we have to protect this base. I'm guessing... So it's better than Star Raiders 2. There is no Star Raiders game on the C64. And Star Raiders was a 1979 game you could buy, so... I was trying to go up and while I'm firing it wouldn't let me. Ooh. Ooh, no! How many enemies are left? Well, there's one on the scanner. We should have, no, there's still another one. Down there. Right, green is clean. Yeah, you can't seem to fly or anything like that because the star field is just static. So it's basically how I play Elite. So I didn't get any damage there. So uh, yeah, it's quite playable actually. Certainly uh, one of the better Star Raiders uh, clones. We now have a notch, notch filter activated because the cat's got his belly on there. Yeah, uh, the sound is what it is. Yeah, these arseholes fire as well, you've got to be careful there, so... Uh, seems to be quite easy to get them. Oof, that was a close one. So it's F1 to get to the map screen. So uh, yeah, Star Raiders was a 1979 game. It really was a reason to get an Atari 400 or 800, whatever you could afford. Uh, 
before it, well, even when the C64 first came out. No, I like this game. You know. I don't know what the white sectors are. Does that mean they don't know? Or they're like enemy controlled? Yeah, so Star Raiders 2 is completely shit on the C64, but on the Amstrad it's quite nice. Shame the same people weren't doing that. Yeah, I would say Star Raiders on the VCS is better than this, even technically. Oh, you can shoot their shots. Okay then. So that wasn't there. I'm sure that was a white square before. So yeah, Star Raiders is a really good game. You know, if you think about the launch titles for the C64, and International Soccer was not one of them. So we've got six enemy units. Very playable. It's not very polished, but uh, uh, yeah. See, that's what's happening. They're waking up in it. It's like the hives in uh, Stargate Atlantis, which totally ripped off uh, the Magic game in Atlantis, as I've proved. So I hope you like my uh, up and down sprite I did. Uh, but I looked at up and down. I had a quick go on main with like the cheats on and uh, there's no way I could program anything like that in basic. But I thought maybe we could program just the up business. And then I thought I won't be able to do the jump. And then I thought, uh, yeah, I don't know actually. Oh, that's the enemy base. I wish I hadn't pressed that now. I want to see the enemy base. But we haven't got any damage. So I, I guess energy is fuel when it says uh, completely refueled. Oh, sh oh, fuck. I'm going to have to go straight back to my home base now. Seems to be a bit, you know, fussy about this bit when you're selecting where you want to go. Like I said, you can't be drinking your coffee. Anyway, Michael Tomchek, he got into the, the old home computer business via, you know, Commodore in the pre-Vic 20 era because of Star Raiders on the Atari 800, so we're good to go now. See what I mean? It's very fussy. But it's fine, I quite like this game. As unpolished as it is, it actually plays fine, so... lost him oh that's what it is okay that's a black hole ah oh, no man we're doing quite well there how long we had on that game we had quite a bit on that game i reckon yeah i'm gonna play that again a bit later in it bit later around sunset feels like a sort of autumn winter game after school maybe yeah, it turns out I had my Triumph TV for, let's work this out, from Christmas 83 until 
possibly, well, it definitely has to be sometime after summer 86. Can't remember exactly when it's, so I was using my ST. 520 STM uh, with the old crappy um, uh, I found there there's a poke to turn off the uh, Commodore interrupts you know the ones that the uh, kernel routine does I'm not sure what would happen if I'm using print statements while I'm doing that it does give you a bit of a speed boost um, I was checking out some uh, website where it's talking about how to do all these weird things in the C64 that you'd normally only do in machine code. Like pixel scroll with just a CPU. It does it. They do a very weird thing. It's become a thing now. This is like the third time I've seen this. Uh, you can use print statements to basically modify memory addresses that are not the screen. There is a hack to do that, and if you do that, it's really fast. Especially if you print variables. So if you said print a string, and uh, you know you you set everything up, so when you do the print thing, it it actually modifies a completely different address. Uh, this could be it for this directory, actually. I could not get on with uh, Sabutia. I think I've done Steel Ranger. Uh, let's check out what else Raid. Oh, look, Fifth Axis is in there, but Fifth Axis is not part of there. So uh, let's check out Sea Wars. Seahorses. I don't really see anything to do with seahorses anymore. It was one of those things in the 70s, people were fascinated by them. It's quite a classy thing to have like uh, a fish tank with seahorses in it. You might have to invent, well you don't get pet shops anymore. Can you piss off? Thank you. But in my native language if you change one, just one character it means fart. So. Says it all, mate. No, I thought because it's doing all that business. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Hang on, you get a point for every enemy you hit and for every ship your enemy hits. Why would that be? So he gets a point. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Hang on, I bet I'm meant to be getting the uh, grey bastard, isn't it? Yeah. Is that an enemy ship there? That's a bit annoying. It changed on me, isn't it? Can I can I actually control the uh Yeah, I think I have to check this now. Right, okay, if you fire it faster it goes straight down faster. If you're going slow when you fire off the miss no, that don't see. That's the true sound. The true sound there. The true sound is out there. Mulder told me. Oh, now it's a fucked up notch band pass filter thingy. Yeah, typing quality, you get the idea. I would never buy that game. That's shit. Uh, now, fifth axis is on there, which is good, because I might want to play that a bit later in it. A bit later in it.
Dee 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 dee. Doi doi doi. A very catchy tune though. Yeah, anyway. Apparently uh, Rob Hubbard did the music for Populous. I'm going to have to check that out on the Amiga. But it's not like I remember it from the past. So, uh, I think we've done everything for Radar Soft, haven't we? All, uh, no, we haven't. Let's see. we just done Hopeless, is it? It's a hopeless thing. I can't remember what all risks look like. So, uh, we'll have to check that out. Oh, there's still fucking cinnamon water in this thing. Still smells like cinnamon water, that's a good thing. Good, 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 good. When it starts smelling like cinnamon yogurt, you're fucked. Don't drink it, bruv. Dee 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 dee. So, yeah. Uh, crouching down to, uh defrost well cut huge chunks of ice out of like you know shelves that I can uh, get access to in the uh, in one of the freezers I did the other one yesterday it's, uh, that's done my leg in there stroke hip joint upper leg whatever so I can't really like piss about clearing out areas and then building cabinets on the floor or do painting at the moment basically all I can do is sit down didn't really like the X-Files season 10 uh, I think we're I think we're gonna have to start watching Dexter now so uh, I've got to uh, watch I think it's eight seasons of the original Dexter and then we can start watching uh, the new one, which is technically season nine. That may be a standard radar soft thing, blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. I don't know what any of this means. Happened to me, except, except the other person was at fault. Just like teaches you driving. Nice, oh, this game. Is he searching? So I'm pressing that and he, he could just be a uh, little drink of water there mate. I don't know what you've got to do then. We seem to have found something. Sweet jolly music. Sounds like wax on wax off there with Mr. Miyagi. I see they're up to uh, a fourth season of Cobra Kai. So I don't know how many pieces you can find in each set. Oh, All right. Ah, come on. See, you're actually controlling the little square, right? I don't want to go this way. Ow! Ow! I 
bought a rubbish car and you decapitated my knee. Okay, it's a very unusual game, I must admit. So you and Geld is up. I don't know what any of super modern in yeah, okay. I want that. Nah, you can't afford it, mate. <laughs> oh no! No, look at that! Three pixels! But officer, it was three pixels in it. Ah, it's ashes. Ah, we've been killed. It's very childish, my review. Ooh, bloody hell. What does that mean? I found money. I want this thing, whatever that is. No! Oh, I've been in there. I want to go there. No, oh, no! The little doggy, he, uh, he gave you rabies, didn't it? This is a tough one, isn't it? So you can push up or down on this bit. So the dogs don't seem to come down the level. So it's a cross between Mission Impossible, Lazy Jones, and uh, I can't think of a, a driving, driving, learn how to drive type game, but I'm sure one existed. What does that mean? Otto Casco. Uch bishato und schuld. Whatever that means. I don't think we can have them. I th yeah, I don't actually understand that. So. What does that mean? Does that mean you found money? I haven't finished searching everything, you cheeky monkey. How do I get over there then? Where is it? Oh, that's a baby in the cot. Alright. Oh. Oh, You're ruining the uh, audio experience there, uh, Adamski. But it's my TV, fuck off! What does that mean? Get broken by... I don't know if I still need to... Um, check everything out now. Wrap it in your house. Well, they're not going to change, are 
are they? So how are we supposed to get to the next level then? I don't... Do, do I... Well, I don't know how to get down to the uh, bottom level there then. Yeah, we've done this level. I don't know how you get to the other things then. Very interesting game. Uh, there were some instructions in English and the game was translated. That would have been quite an interesting game to check out, me thinks. It's my channel, so obviously, me thinks. Well, it's almost lined up. It's good enough for uh, such a shit website as YouTube. Although I think Google Chrome has updated and uh, for once it's a fucking improvement. It's using uh, less memory now for their shit flash replacement or whatever they're using. What else did we have? Oh, we've still got adventures in. Right, adventures in. Man, what was the name of the company that our uh, task set? Yeah, we've got Pipeline 2 there, so. Curse of Sherwood. non terraqueous oh, I've done Energy Warrior, that can go on there. Uh, any more tapes around? Right, okay. Let me see if I can read this one. Jesus Christ, look at the size of these fonts. Absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? I can't even read that with my camera. Yeah, well. No, I can't actually read that, you bastard. Maybe there's docs with a game. Actually, there probably isn't, because they're in uh, archive things, isn't they? So. Although this one came on uh, a disc by itself, okay. So I got that and that. Check out the pick first. Is it going to be a good pick or a pick your nose sort of bogey pick? Who knows, mate? You better wipe your fingers after getting them bogeys on there. That's all I've got to say to you, man. It's rubbish. Rubbish. Yeah, we'll be in the same directory, unless you reject the SD card. Uh, if the C64 resets, the disk will remain the same. So, yeah, I'm not sure how it does actually do the directory thing, but I could actually write uh, a multi-load uh, basic game for SD to IEC owners. I mean, technically you could use it with Vice, but... Um, no, I wouldn't even bother mentioning that. If I said I released a C64 game, it would have to run quite happily on a box standard C64 and the only optional extra you should need to play it, or maybe mandatory, uh, is a joystick. That's it really. No weird uh, expansions needed. A fucking crazy hack. I'd rather have the docks. Ah, oh, here we go. Good, good, good. Joystick import two. Space to pick up item. Oh, great. There's too many controls already. You must guide seeker through the inside of the mountain to destroy the computer base. It sounds good. There are over 200 screens to search. 200 or 1000, I'm looking at something else. Uh, you have two modes of operation normal sphere mode in which you can fire, and defenseless mode in which you cannot. You change modes in a room with an object label swap. Oh no, so you can't change at will. Use D to drop bombs on force fields to clear the path. Use the rocket to get you past 
the gas room. This may become obvious once the game has loaded. See, once again, I'm getting an inferior experience to if I actually bought this back then and played it on the C64 that I was uh, bought. I think it was a birthday present. Because, uh, uh, you know, in real life, you'd have the cassette inlay and uh, the game would be loading and possibly running with a demo mode but I bet it don't give you a demo mode anyway alright okay so yeah I might write a game called Up I haven't quite worked out what that's going to be like uh, it really depends how fast doing those uh, Yeah, doing those two pokes. Sure, I might just print things. Yeah, uh, don't say. Don't say we've done the music. I might load up Finders Keepers. Keep my eyes closed uh, just to listen to the music. I can't remember who does the music for Finders Keepers. I think we played this one. Yeah, I think we have actually. And you can only fire left and right, see, that's the problem. But you, you can touch the side. Alright, oh, that's part of that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? They're going out of sync with that thing. So you have to pick up bombs, right? That's our mission. Fuck me. It's actually well programmed. Is that a bomb? What is that? I think space picks things up. Hang on. Yeah, what's space to pick things up? Iffy thing, but I don't understand what's going on with that. So, we've got a bit of a problem because uh, there was something there, and uh, maybe I'm just supposed to avoid it. Maybe it was. Am I supposed to get past it? I mean, come on, mate. Right, so touching them loses you psych power. Well, it's not like you've got a lot of choices which way you can go. So as long as you avoid the purple ones, you're okay. So you could go down here. I'm looking for something that... Oh, right, I don't want to swap. That's the thing. Well, we could check out the graphics for that. So I think this is a thing we have to blow up. So we've got zero bombs. So maybe you can only uh, ah right okay. I reckon where was that thing? There we go. Right okay. Now. So maybe that isn't a bomb, we've got to keep, I don't want to be in this mode. Why would you be in this mode? Uh, maybe you need it to pick stuff up. There's another one there. Nah, that's suspicious. These are things I'm supposed to pick up, but... Uh, that's where we were, that's the start, isn't it? No. So does that thing top up your cycle or something? No, it actually loses your sight, so it's not a pickup. 
and that loses it. All right, so where are these damn bombs in? There's a bomb. God damn it. <coughs> Is it down here? I think it's in here, that thing. We learned how to play non terraquis I don't think my mate had this on his Amstrad. Just sounds familiar, the game. You have exploded your anti-force field bomb too near the robotic seeker. Mm. So maybe you've got to get out of the room. Well, we've done that. That's, uh, that's not bad, actually. It's better than I thought it'd be. Alright, okay, so that goes on the fold here. Yeah? Curse of Sherwood! Might as well turn the camera off now. <laughs>